Air Masses and Fronts, presented by Team Planet. Hi, I'm Christina, and I will be talking about air masses. We have four different types of air masses. Continental polar, continental tropical, maritime tropical, and maritime polar. The first one I'll be starting with is the continental polar. It is found in the northern Canada in this area. In the winter, it brings very cold weather, and in the summer, it's very cold and dry. Now and then we have the continental tropical, which occurs in northern Mexico and southern United States. It only occurs in the summer, and it brings clear, dry, and very hot weather. Then we have a maritime polar, and that occurs in the northern Pacific Ocean. And it brings its warm areas, very wet, and it brings rain and snow in the winter, and in the summer it's very cool and foggy. Then we have another maritime polar over here in the Atlantic Ocean. That is very cold and cloudy with precipitation, and in the summer it's cool and foggy. Then we have a maritime tropical in the southern Pacific Ocean over here. It's weaker than the maritime polar and it has less precipitation. Then the last one is in the southern Atlantic, which is also a maritime tropical. It's warm and hot and cloudy in the winter, and then in the summer it's very, very hot and humid, and it brings thunderstorms and hurricanes. Okay, now we will move on to fronts. Our cold air mass is Annie Saunders, and our warm air mass is Ben Cunningham, and our wind is Aaron Shaw. Okay, our first front is the cold front. It moves very fast, pushing the warm air mass off, replacing it with the air, and the wind comes through, and this brings thunderstorms, heavy rain, and snow, and it causes cooler weather. Okay, and next our warm front. The warm front moves very fast, so it pushes the cold air mass off. And the wind comes through. Okay, warm air masses uh, usually result in warm air and drizzly precipitation and clear and warm weather. Then we have our occluded front. Occluded front is when there is a cold air mass which moves off to the side causing the warm air mass to push up. And that usually brings cold temperatures and large amounts of precipitation. Our last front is the stationary front. That's when the cold air mass and the warm air mass stays the same. Usually brings drizzly precipitation and clear warm weather just like a warm front.